Have you ever wanted to see your FPS counter? Keystrokes while you're using a controller. A fully functional debug screen, full bright alternative which enhances your brightness, and so much more. When it's sunny. Hello Lazzy here and in today's video we are checking out Modules Plus for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This works on 1.19.30 and above on iOS, Android and Windows 10. I will show you how to download, install and use this add-on, even a Render Dragon shader towards the end of the video so make sure you stick around. What's amazing about this pack is that it is a resource pack. You do not need any behavior packs or experimental gameplays on, which means this works in multiplayer as you can see with some quality pvp gameplay in the background as you can see this pack works on servers which is really awesome achievements will also work with this pack so if you do want to use it in your survival world make sure you do because it is really helpful once you download both packs you just need to apply them to your world as you can see i've got modules plus preset and the modules plus resource pack equipped once you have them equipped you can load your game Loading into Minecraft, as you can see, it does look a little bit different. We have the north, east, south, west at the top there, which is really useful. And it even tells me how fast I'm going. Coordinates are also stored in the top right there, which is really useful. Now, to get all the additional perks with this pack, all you need to do is click on the emotes button twice. Clicking it once will show the emotes menu, but if you click it a second time, as you can see now, we've got all these different options. If you use a controller when making videos, this pack is really useful. As you can see, it shows your controller keystrokes. So when you're going forward, backwards, left or right, it will display on the screen, which is a nice touch. The feature a lot of people may use is the FPS counter. So we will equip it and we just have to click on the X in the top right. And as you can see, the FPS is dropping because of the shader. Gee whiz. As you can see, it is a pretty accurate FPS counter. So looking at the skies, you can tell the FPS has dropped a little bit because it is a nice and realistic shader. And if I go over to the water as well, you'll probably see the FPS just completely just die. FPS trick right there, just don't go near water or clouds and you'll get 60 FPS. You can also click on info for a bit more information and the credits of the creator. And if you click on expand, you get a few more options. So if I click onto the FPS counter, there's no additional options for it. But for example, if I click on lighter, you get a few more options. You can even change the opacity of some of the menu items, which is really nice touch. So if you want it all the way up or all the way down, you can do so. I have just enabled all the settings. And as you can see on the left there, we do have the debug screen, which is nice. It has a working clock and it even has the compass. There is also a potion counter at the bottom there, which honestly not too sure what that does. As you can see down the bottom right there, I do have the IP unavailable as this is just a general survival world. However, if you are on multiplayer and you are live streaming or doing some multiplayer videos, it is really useful. So it will display the IP of the server you are in, which makes it easier for your viewers to see what server you are in so they can join and play with you. There is also a hey, FPS drop when looking at these clouds, but there is also a button at the top there. When I click on it, it just shows a list of all the players in the server. So as you can see, I'm alone by myself. If you want to give me some company, make sure you join my Discord in the description and join my realm. The realm is back back in active and we are keen to get some more players involved. The sun is set, the moon is rising and this shader is looking spectacular. This is by Cubic Shader for Render Dragon. If you want to download it, I will link my video to it in the description. So make sure you check it out. It is a little bit more difficult to install shaders on Render Dragon as you need to modify all the files, which is annoying. Mojang, hurry up and release Render Dragon shader support. Oh. What was that? Oh my god! As I was saying, Mojang is being a bit slack and not releasing any information on Render Dragon shaders, which is a little bit unfortunate because it would be nice to get some Render Dragon support. While it is nighttime, we will showcase off the full bright effect. 
So if I go into settings, you'll see my brightness is just on the, I guess the generic full brightness. So the lighter was enabled a bit. If I disable it, you can see the brightness has just gone down a little bit. Enable it, it gets a bit brighter, which is really useful in the caves and while you are exploring. The torch lights are brightness. You can change the brightness of the torch, which is really useful. And you could also bright your screen up all the way even further to another 100%. And as you can see, it's even brighter. Unfortunately, it isn't exactly the full bright you were hoping for that it just reveals everything at night, but it definitely does make a difference and makes your game brighter. If you turn your device brightness up, you'll be able to see everything. It's really useful in survival. Another feature you will have noticed is once I have picked up this item, it shows it in the bottom right once again. So as you can see, I've got two raw muttons in my inventory. As I'm in creative, you can't really see how much is in there unless I go into the menu. So it is a nice touch just to get that little bit more information what's in your hand, which is cool. This also does display the durability of what your item is currently on. So if I, if I just die, as I was saying, it does show the durability of the item in your hand. As you can see, mining away at some dirt, the durability of my pickaxe is going down. So quite an amazing pack for a resource pack. As I mentioned at the start there, this works in survival, multiplayer on servers, as it is a resource pack and doesn't require any experimental gameplay. Make sure you become a member of his Discord so when the creator does update his packs, you can get the latest updates and there are a few other packs also available on his Discord. Just a reminder that Discord is free and doesn't cost anything, so if you don't already have an account, make sure you create an account, join his Discord, even join my Discord while you're at it, wink wink nudge nudge once you are a member navigate to the downloads and as you can see the two files are there ready to download direct downloads no ads which is what we love to see for ios users a tip is just download them in the discord app so when you download it in the discord app you can open it directly into minecraft you won't need to open it into another application you can download it straight in discord and just open it straight into minecraft which is a lot more convenient than having to download it open it into another application and then opening it into Minecraft. This just saves one step. But that is it for this awesome pack for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. If you did enjoy today's video, a like is always appreciated. If you are new, make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on the best Pocket and Bedrock Edition content. But thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one.